Hello everybody, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Bulber Gaming. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and if not, let's see if we can't make it a little bit better with Deep Rock Galactic. So, the other day I was bored and trying to think of what to do, and I realized that I bought this game a while ago when it was on, uh, when it was on sale, and then I never played it. So, I started it up. You see, I'm a level 11 with a driller. There's four different types of... You're playing as a dwarf, by the way. You're a space dwarf. You're on a space mining rig. Like, check this out. Look at this view. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. And, you know, you're just mining, man. You get, like, a pickaxe. It's kind of like Minecraft. At the same time, you can order boozies. Oilios, please. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this. I can tip the fucking guy. Oh, because he's awesome. Pick this up. We're going to down that before we go on our mission. And, uh, yeah. I thought this game came out kind of... <laughs> I thought this game came out, like, recently. But it actually launched in February of 2018, I think. So, without screwing around too much more, I want to play my favorite mission type. Thing is, there's a bunch of different mission types. There's a bunch of different areas you can go to with all like different, um, you know, elements to them. Of course, uh, there's some where you're just going around a cave mining stuff. There's some where you have to protect, uh, like a drill. All those different kind of modes. Now, for me, I personally love the uh, on-site refining missions, just because it, f it feels like a little bit more of a base building thing, and you get to build. Uh, like pipelines, and then you get to grind on them to get back and forth between areas. So to me, that's the most fun. So that's the one that we're gonna be playing today. We're gonna see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go with the one on, uh, what's it called? Crystalline Caverns. It's just pretty, no real other reason. Let's bump this up a little bit to dangerous. Have something a little stressful going on. Your chariot awaits, gentlemen. Hell yeah. I've got an assignment going on, but it's uh, for something a little bit different. I want to check out my equipment real quick. Uh, yeah, you can upgrade all of your uh, guns. You can uh, upgrade your looks. I added the beard. I really like any type of beard with like a braid or some type of hold on it. So that was actually in this like season. I wouldn't call it a battle pass. And it's also free, I believe. I don't think there's any paid portion of it. But um yeah, that was cool. I could just start. I just started earning as soon as I started playing the game and earning towards like uh, you know unique cosmet cosmetics and stuff. Uh, I have another friendly or another uh, passive perk. Well, I guess I'll slap that one on there since I'm playing by myself. I don't really need to uh, have like a personal revive thing or like you know I revive other people faster. Now, when you're playing by yourself, you do get a little drone companion, which is very convenient he helps in combat kind of i mean he's useful in combat but mainly especially on these missions you can have him build the pipelines for you while you go and do something else uh, he can revive you which is good because sometimes you will get like swamped in this game and then uh you know it's good i think he i think he can revive you remember leave up no to, one behind up to four times wow Okay. Great. <laughs> Great starting point. Oh my god, okay. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Now, the thing about this game is are you're operating in a cave. Oh my god. This is going very sideways very quickly. You're operating in a cave, so everything's freaking dark. All right. Oh, excuse me. Die, I have a please. side quest to eliminate fester fleas, so I'm going to be burning innocent bugs. Yes, I feel bad about it. I'm sorry. But so it's dark in here, so one of the mechanics is flares that you have to toss out. And these do regenerate. The game actually says, don't worry, these regen. Oh, that's a big boy. Come here, sweetie pie. Oh! This guy's grenades is like a... Uh, collapsible axe, which is fun. Does a lot of damage when you hit him in the right spot. Oh, Jesus. That's explosive. There we go. Yeah, baby. A little bit extra damage. I like that. I like that a lot. And, uh... Fester fleet down. Yeah, that's the general gist. Now, these lads up here are loot bugs. And yes, I, I feel bad. 
when I kill them. In fact, sometimes the guy will say, I kill the loot bug, and I'm not so proud about it. Which, yeah, I mean, they're defenseless little pudgy creatures who have done nothing wrong to you except exist in the wrong spot. So, this guy... As special drills lets us drill through the environment. Environment's completely destructible. That makes life very manageable, especially as this character specifically, which is why I like playing this guy so much, the driller. I, I don't know the names of the different roles, but uh, very convenient when you have to go from one area to another. So we're looking for three of these areas where they've got some stuff shooting out of them. And that's going to drill through the top. And we're going to have to connect it to the on-site refinery over there, which is no big deal. I would like to... Huh. Uh, give me that. Yeah, there we go. So in most of the game modes, there's a little... <laughs> there's a little walking... Uh, also, I want go him to go fetch. ahead and mine that nitra. There's like a little walking minecart that goes along with you where you can deposit all of your materials. So you can see I'm picking up nitra at the bottom of the screen. And there, I also have some gold and a malt star. That was uh, the flower that I picked up a little bit ago. And most of this stuff that you can gather, like this thing I'm carrying right now, uh, is like for is a crafting material that you can use to buy upgrades. But, there are two very important elements. That's a good question, Mr. Big Dwarf Man. One of the critical elements that it performs... Get the hell out of here. Gold. Gold just gets you more money, so it's just good to mine. You know, by the time the mission runs around, you get a little bonus for all the gold that you get. However, mine that for me. You get the hell out of here. I'm gonna kill another loot bug. You're cute, but you're dead. Poor lad. Get back here! Mm, missed that one. The other very important element, though, is Nitra. Nitra, once you have 80 of it, will allow you to call in a... I'm glad his aim was bad. Huh. Nitra, once you call it in... Or, sorry. Once you get 80 of it, will allow you to call in a resupply pod. Which is vital. Shit. There we go. Because if you run out of ammo in this game, you're pretty screwed. You can hit enemies with your pickaxe, but it's not a very viable solution. So, by far... Get this little prick. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, my God. That is terrifying. Those things normally just pop down and will, like, grab you. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Uh, I've never seen one come out of the darkness like that before. That was awful. I would like to not see that again. So, like I said, Nitra, super important. Because you'll prob we'll probably see here soon. Occasionally, there will just be, um, like, little invasions. And the, the announcer guy will be like, Oh, there's a big swarm coming. And in that case, like, enemies will just keep spawning for, like, a few minutes and, you know, try to kill you. As all insects do, and it's horrible. Did I just... Yeah, okay, so we gotta get up there. Well, I'm better to go ahead and mine that. Put out a flare. And some other... Rolls have better... Are better suited to moving around the environment. Like... One of them has a grappling hook for personal movement. The other one has more of a, like a zip line where you can move the whole team around chasms and stuff like that. It's all very nice, but at the end of the day, are these things gonna like hurt me? Yes, actually. Oh my God. Yeah, very much hurt. Ow, very painful. Jesus. Ah, I see. Okay, well, can I break it? Oh, God. This is going to get me killed. Does not seem to be want to be broken. Okay, well, I guess that's just going to be, uh, like, a working hazard for a little bit. Huh. All right, call it in so we can get the hell out of here. I'm going to pop him. And I'm going to grab this since it's, uh, you know, a nice resource. Where is the... 
Oh, there it is, back there through the rocks. Okay. Let's get the pump jack connected. Normally, I play this like on a much larger screen. I have it reduced down to 1920 by 1080p, but I'll normally play like on my full ultra wide display. So it is a little jarring. Ooh! No, my crystal. It is a little jarring to have That's it so it. small. But it's okay. I'll deal with it. So, currently we've got two of the three. Um, what are they called? I don't know. Liquid Morkite, I think it is. Two of the three Liquid Morkite geysers. And that looks like that might be a third one, unless that's just an, like, an electricity thing. Sorry, Mr. Fly. Another faster flea kill. Flea, fly, whatever. <clears throat> now, the reason I like to go ahead and like call in well, all of the pump jacks to make it out all right, your lugs. is well. I'm there we go. A swarm. Coming towards a swarm. You. Get ready. All right. So, I sh do I have enough uh, of this? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that would have been nice, but I guess I'll have to wait. So generally, I just like to kind of pop flares out everywhere. That way I can see them whenever they're coming. Yeah, like these guys. And I just heat them up. Personally, I might be a little bit biased, but... I think the flamethrower is like the best weapon in the game. The other ones are like... Chain guns and... Oh shit, there we go. The nice thing about... Uh, this particular grenade type is if you miss the enemy, you can retrieve it, and you don't have to, like, fill it up whenever uh, you're trying to restock at the ammo resupply drops. Which is good, because the ammo, you you get, f there's four uses, basically. You'll see that in a minute. And uh, each use refills 50% of your ammo, and you can play this with up to three other friends, so... Ooh. Yes, I guess that axe hit an enemy, which is tragic because then even though it's on the ground, I can't pick it up. But it's all good. Oh shit, I'm almost out of flamethrower, actually. Which is also not good. Keep fighting, team. You're almost through the wave. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in there. How much nitro? Oh, I just got 80. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Annoying call that bad boy in so what I was saying if you're playing with four other people or three other people then everyone can restock their ammo up to 50% but since I'm playing by myself yeah <laughs> that means I get to restock my whole ammo twice give it to me there we go oh they coming fucking heat them up Is that everyone? I do have like a power attack I can do with my pickaxe. See, homie's up there taking care of business. I like that guy. Okay. I think that was the whole swarm. I am fully reloaded. If you hit the reload button when like you're full on ammo, you'll do like a little animation. Which, you know, fun to just spin your weapon around a little bit. So I'm not gonna hit the three button. Getting more ammo. Oh, and I don't ever—I don't think I ever finished my thought. The reason I like capping off the liquid morkite deposits before I start building any pipelines is because you can pull up control, and then it will show you all the outlines of all of your major things, like the supply pod, the APD, and in the distance, the pump jack, which is important because. Is that the third one? It might be over there. And there's the other one over there. So really what that helps me do at least is plan out what I'm doing. Because like I said, you can grind on these pipes, which is a lot of fun. But if they intersect each other, then you'll kind of get knocked off the grind. And that's just like not cool, bro. I'm trying to get my fucking skate hey, on. Get to walk. Actually, I'm going to help him mine these so I can kind of pick some of it up. Because ammo is something that, like I said, very important. And I'm playing on hard, so it's not super, super difficult. But I am prone to getting completely run over. Which is not what I want. I've been playing this game for like 8 to 12 hours at this point, And I'm trying to flex on y'all, you know what I mean? I can't be going down to some fucking bugs. 
Okay. So this is nice. They're organized pretty well. Like with a lot of space in between all of them. Where you at? I just went all around that thing. Okay, there we go. That buzzing was getting on my nerves. One more. I can send my little drone to go. Oh, hell yeah. I need some of this. Some biz more, baby. Turning into biz less. There we go. Hell yeah. I wish. I oh, right there. Support Kill him. Fire, Kill him. Please. Go, buddy. Go. Get him. Get him. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a good little buddy right there. Okay. Is there something gold behind this as well? Ooh, hell yeah. What you got for me, sugar? And before you wonder why I'm using my pickaxe a lot as opposed to my um, hand drills, it's mainly because they're very chaotic. I mean, they're not hard to control by any stretch of the imagination, but... They're a little, um, they tend to take off a little much at one time. And I like to be slow and controlled. And the, ow. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, this guy wants some, huh? Did I get hit? Oh, shit. I thought that fucking killed him. That sure did it, though. Ow. Fucking fart gas out of here. Huh. <sighs> And like I was saying, the hand drills do have a limited amount of uh, fuel. So I try to use them sparingly. They do refill, like with the ammo resupplies, but, you know. I just try to keep it full stocked, on stock all the time. Y'all get what I'm saying. Oh. Oh. Gotta haul this thing up here. It's like I said, for most of the game modes, there is a little buddy, like, following you around the whole time that you dump this stuff into, but... In this particular game mode, not so much. So I'm going to dump this big crystal in there. And we are going to get to building. That guy in mission I need a lot more really nitra. Uh, alright. What? Board. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to get at least one done before the next swarm. But that's alright. We'll just have to make do. I'm also going to grab some more of this gold before I forget about it. Because clearly I got halfway through the job last time. And then just thought that was good enough. Huh. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, that was a good throw. That one was less of a good throw. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different types of enemies in the game. Which is fun because you find yourself facing off against a lot of different types, like, frequently. Uh, those... Normal bugs that you see flying on the ground are pretty much everywhere. These crawling on the ground are pretty much everywhere. Which, like I said, is the main reason I like the flamethrower. Because it just tends to deal with groups more effectively. I think we found that out during, like, World War II. Ooh. But also that lingering flame effect is really nice. Some of the other, um, the other classes in the game have... One has a minigun, one has more of an assault rifle... And the other one, like the engineer has a shotgun, but that's pretty buns, to be honest. That's like my least favorite character. But the chain gun's nice, but it takes a minute to like spin up. And as you can see with this, I put out damage fucking lickety split. So once I mop these lads up, yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry, loot bug, but you got it. Oh, an oppressor. Cool. Well, I didn't mean to switch that around. Just throwing all my axes at him. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get toasted up. Oh, just dump a little bit of that in there. Excuse me. Oh, that didn't kill him. I thought that would be enough. Jesus Christ. Ah. Get out of here. Good. Hell yeah. Okay, where is the ammo? It's right there. Okay. We'll grab a little bit more before we head off. Grabbing ammo. Yeah. Yeah. 
pop this bad boy off too. All right, so the first one that we're gonna tackle is up over that way. So like I say, these are actually laid out pretty conveniently. Frequently, they are like more grouped together, which means if you here. want to maximize your grind time, then you're gonna have to organize things a little bit better. But doesn't seem to really be a factor here. So that's nice. And these can only stretch out to like nine meters at a time. And I don't know if there's a way to upgrade that. It seems like there would be, but you know, maybe not. Maybe it's just an element of uh, this game mode. Oh, I do this a lot. There's like one pixel where this thing works. Hell yeah, and it's right there. Where is it? Ah, oh, I kind of fucking went off in the wrong direction, making it more complicated on myself. That's okay, I do that a lot. Pipeline place. Okay, so because I'm this guy, also, I have my bot. Go ahead and mine some of that so I can grab it. Because I'm this guy, I can pretty much just drill directly through any piece of the map. Like I said, so... For oh, this is the bottom of that geyser. <laughs> Whoops. Guess I don't want to destroy the resource I'm trying to collect. Can I... I guess you can't really get rid of those. That is exceptionally unfortunate. I've actually not had to deal with those crystals before. So, that's kind of a new development to me. I'm gonna pop out the side here. Oh, this is perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but it will do. And there's a little bit, a little bit of that. A uh, little bit of that. Come on, give it to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. All right. Move my... Oh, look at all that nitra. Oh, God, it feels good. Uh, which way did I want to go? Wanted to go up that way? Oh, God, here they are. How far can I squeeze this thing up here? Come on, I just... Yes, yes, yeah. There's not really a limit on, um... Like... It, you don't have to connect it within a certain number of, you know, segments. I think this segment is more to just, like, a self-reward type thing. <laughs> what the hell am I getting stuck on? Get out of here. But, as I promised, we can grind. Hell yeah. All the way back to the friggin' rig. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a fun little addition to the game? And then, like, you can come here... And you build the pipeline. I guess that's really your only motivation to make the most out of each segment. So you don't have to build like a thousand segments. Because each segment does take the same amount of time to Let's build. But I can just ask my friend to build it for me. When I'm playing with the robot. Isn't that nice? And then I can come Why back here. Even bother walking? See, he, see, he knows. Why even bother walking? So that other pump jack is over there. I guess I'm going to use that line for that one since that one's already in use. There we're going. Okay. Let's get it done. Let's get it done, sugar. Am I going to... Yeah, I'll be all right. Ride on the nine. It, nine's not good. Nine is good. Place. Oh, use yes. a hand building it. oh, we've got the robot. Don't worry about it. Bonk. Okay, so this is going to have to get a little bit of, uh, going to have to have a little bit of time to turn around. I'm not super familiar on... Pump jack connected to refinery. Hell yeah, dude, the robot works so fast. See, like, there's some, like, that says it's blocked because it goes through rock, but I can stick it, like, where was it just at? Oh, well, maybe, of course, now that I say it, I can't actually do it. But, like, it can work its way through some rock, but not a lot of rock. But sometimes it'll just bore straight through stuff. So I'm not entirely, like, skippy on what exactly the requirements for building like, the pipes are. If only someone would help me build it. But, there we go. The point I was trying to make was that the pipes are a little bit finicky sometimes, but all in all, it's all good. One really nice thing about it is that when you place it somewhere, like right there, let's say, 
It automatically carves out a nice radius around the pipe so that, you know, your grind isn't interrupted. And when you're defending the rig towards the end of the round, these pipe segments, some of them will break and you have to go out and repair them. So it's nice that the grind mechanic isn't hindered by, you know, having to manually grind out every single part of the tunnels that you're trying to get through. So cheers for the devs. Is that good? Yeah. Let's see how our track is. Oh yeah, baby. Build it. That's like half of my joy playing this game mode. It's just when I'm done making one of the tracks, riding it back. That just brings me a lot of happiness. All right, so that one's this one's got to go way over here, which is gonna have to make its way through some rocks. It doesn't have to. If I was a different character, I would be more apt to like build it around the existing uh, cave structure. But since I've got some massive arm fucking rockets strapped to the damn thing, rockets, drills, same thing really. I mean, come on. One's drilling through air, the other one's drilling through rock. You know what I mean? It's the same fucking thing. Don't you get technical with me. I'll be dreaming of pipes tonight. I don't know if I would say that out loud. <laughs> Revealing your inner hoe. That's not the... Okay, that's the one. Thank God. I was like, wow, I... Catastrophically mismeasured where I was going. Oh, we're putting it on top of here, baby. We're having us a little sky rail. Oh. God damn it. I forgot that fucking... When you press the control button and, like, to pull out your scanner, it... Yeah, it puts away everything in your hand and makes you drop stuff, which is sad. Okay, come on. I gotta find... Yes. 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 Oh, I love it. I'm play, It's like I'm playing Thrillville all over again. I'm back to, like, what? When did that game come out? Like, 2008? God, I don't even know. All right. Can you, um... This goes perfect, here. thank you. I needed a bridge. All right. Let's hammer our way the rest of the way through here. Connect this pipe, and then we should be golden. Because we already did that secondary objective. Typically, the secondary objectives aren't too difficult. Pipes up. Uh, some of them, however, I have scoured the whole map. When it's like, find a certain amount of this resource. I have scoured the whole map to no avail so sometimes it's really finicky okay so he's gonna build <laughs> i love how enthusiastic my dwarf is but uh so he's gonna build the rest of that i am going to do a little bit of preparation for the defense phase which in this case it's not really a defense phase i don't think you can actually defend the pipelines because I think they're just, you know, programmed to break at least once in the game. Uh, or at least during that defense phase. Um, now, in well, the... I think we're actually doing all right so far. Me too, buddy. In the game mode where you have to defend the drill, it actually can break. And when it fully breaks... Wait for flare <clears throat> my flares are slow. If that breaks, then you actually do lose the mission, which is a massive bummer. This is a health crystal. If you hit it, you get health back. But I'm not missing any health right now because you also get health back when you restock your ammo. How convenient. Hell yeah. Flowers. It's so like I said, most of this stuff is... Uh, the stuff you collect is used for upgrades. Only, really only Nitra, Gold, all lights read green. and uh, Red Sugar, which is that health crystal. Return to the refinery um, and start up the pump sequence. Are like things you use in the game. So the only real thing that I need to do for prep is I'm gonna call in another supply pod so I can snag it Hang in there. if Supplies I need it. And other than that, there's really not much to set up to. This guy also has a C4 charge. I use it in case of emergencies, but I usually wind up doing a lot of damage to myself. So. Just generally try to avoid it. But since we've got everything fucking squared away. Woo Hell yeah. The liquid morkite is being extracted. 
By the way, when I first started playing this game, I don't know if any of y'all can, any of y'all like picked this up yourselves. But I was like, wow, this looks a lot like Astroneer. Which I suppose is the, um, just the voxel art style. Ouch. Because obviously, two very different games. But with the, the voxel style, I was like, dang, it feels like I'm in a super, a super, uh, like, revised version of Astroneer. Oh, that's smoke. I forget. Almost every time I do this mission, I'm coming out of the darkness and I see something moving and I fire on it and it's just the smoke. Anyone? I really wish my flares would regen faster. Ah, this one took an L. The nice thing is once you find a break, you can instruct your robot to uh, repair it. And typically, there's like two breaks on a line. This one only has one, but there's also two lines that are broken right now. So while he's fixing that one, I'm going to go find the other one while things are being angry. Hey, get away from that. Get. This pipeline is fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Hey, you come here and fix that one while I kill. I'm glad that doesn't, you know, affect the integrity of the pipe. That would make things very difficult. And it's like I said, I know that there are bugs here. But I don't... I Part of me just doesn't think that they actually contribute to the breaking of the pipe. You know what I mean? That's how it stays that way. The refinery is attracting the bugs. The yes. The Thank you, Mr. Man. I see that. One of the really cool things that I like about this game is that the is the flare system. Because hup, hup. Ah, Oh, he beat my ass. That can prick. There we go. Can I pick up that axe again? No, okay. That's a shame. I killed that maggot for no reason. I do wish there was a little bit more in the way of preparing for an assault. Like, maybe attaching floodlights, but only having, you know, maybe three per game, or only having three, but you have to move them around, so I don't have to keep tossing out my flares like that. But at the same time, which one's broken now? Number one, which was this one. Hey, he's so excited. You see what I'm talking about? Like, there's no bugs around here. So I just don't. I think it just breaks by itself. Are we good? No. Shit. Ah, you. Get. Your slippery shit. Get the fuck out of the way. Ha. Ah, anyone else? I'm going to go and stock up on this ammo. Shit. You do have to continue to look at it, which I guess makes sense. Alright, we almost have this thing good to go. Get away. But launch it. Go! Hell yeah. Send it, baby. Ooh, toasty. Ah! Oh, big lag. You know what? I got a little something for you. There you go, baby. Ooh. Glorious. Ow! I thought y'all were dead. All right. Now all we have to do is extract. And another thing that's nice about this game is it sends in a drop pod to extract you and you have a limited amount of time to get there. But typically with this game mode, you have a track that runs at least pretty close to where the drop pod is. Let's see, can we, can we pick it up yet? There it is. Okay, so it's over that way. Yeah, so we can pretty much just ride this line over there. And see, you do have a time limit. There was another game mode where I was 
way far away that was just like a normal cave exploring one. I was way... Oh, you see, it interrupted my grind. But I was very far away, and I almost didn't make it back. Thankfully, I was playing this character, and I just ground through the walls of the entire map. Extraction commencing. Good work. Oh. Hell yeah. Got that successful extraction? Got a played it on hard, so we get a little little extra bonus, seventy five percent. Yes, sir. A little bit of water for that, huh? Look at me, bro. I know what I'm doing. Look at me. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a good haul. That was a good haul. I enjoyed that a lot. Sorry, I gotta put the lid back on my water or else I'm gonna knock it over and be quite upset. Hell yeah, man. And so, like, we come over... It actually says there's a notification. I guess maybe that's not for me. Get some perk points. Completing some, uh... Completing some of those objectives. See, these are the different characters I was talking about. There's a driller, and then there's an engineer who has a shotgun, and... I, I personally, I played him once, I thought it was Buns. But then there's the gunner with the chain gun, who's pretty cool, and then there's the scout with his uh, personal grapple hook. But I just really like the driller. At least, Step aside, playing, <laughs> at least playing solo, he's a lot of fun to me. Uh, he's just kind of like that all-encompassing thing. And I've got assignments, I've got an assignment that I uh, was doing. Got a shop, which is constantly unlocking new things. Like, this is not the full list, I don't think. Because every other time, like, every time I level up, then it shows me what I can get the next few levels down. Instead of just displaying the whole thing at one time. Which I think is nice because it keeps a little bit of mystery in there, you know? But I get, like, beanies and stuff, or, like, a top knot. <laughs> and I can, oh, I can modify my armor, get beefier armor. Or slimmer armor, but you know me, baby. I like the beefy stuff, man. But I'm not going to get that right now. And then they've got like, it's like I said, a season. That's what that's what I should call it. Not a battle pass, a season. And uh, did I unlock that? No, I have not unlocked it yet. Dang, that, that's a shame. But yeah, and they've got this whole like cosmetic tree. They've got like different helmets, different types of frameworks for the different weapons. Um, more helmets. Here was that beard that I have on. It's a lot of fun stuff. Like, a lot of this stuff makes me want to play the shit out of this game just so I can unlock a bunch of these things. I don't know how much, like, time is left in the season. Hopefully, it's being kept up with. I mean, I would assume it is, obviously. But, uh, there's a forge, but, like, there's still stuff that I haven't done in the game, which is kind of cool. I'm, like I said, I'm probably about... 10 to 12 hours in at this point and there's still stuff that I haven't done or haven't been exposed to really at all so Here's a tip. oh yeah another thing I didn't show off is when you're in the cave with that little robot you yeah. can press V and salute Rock him and and he'll like do a little salute back it's very cute I'm gonna give you some we more we need more drones like you Lloyd Lloyd? his name's Lloyd? oh I didn't know that one leaf lover and can I get it thin with some water? Thin with some wa beer? The driller has strange tastes. Slam that bad boy down. That makes me want. Yeah! <laughs> that makes me want like a fat root beer with a lot of foam on the top. Not quite as manly as drinking big boy ale from the Abyss Bar. I know, but just tickles my taste buds man and you like upgrade your beer license there you go lloyd that's the, that's the nicest i'm pos i'm able to return that cup ah <sighs> but yeah so that's uh that's deep rock galactic and there's a memorial hall with a whole bunch of other stuff you can customize your pickaxe you can customize the drone ah just a lot of stuff going on in this game, and uh, I'm really glad that I started playing it. It's like I said, I must have bought it, like, more than three months ago, just on sale. And I just never bothered, well, because I thought it was, like, a multiplayer game, uh, I just never bothered because I didn't have someone to play it with. 
at the time, but it's a blast even solo, at least I think. So let me know what y'all think of the game uh, down in the comments and anything you want to talk about, any suggestions, anything like that, uh, or just, you know, let me know how you're doing. That's awesome too. I love hearing from all of you, no, really no matter what it's about. So today, what is today? Tuesday, like every week, man, Monday's done, which is already a plus. And don't forget to slam down some waters for real. Like it can really make a difference. Uh, it's not going to like turn your life around, but it will make just small things in your day better. If you stay hydrated, it is one of those things that if you've been dehydrated for a long time, you don't notice, but once you stay hydrated, you're like, Whoa, this feels good. I like this. So yeah, take care of yourselves. All right. Like I said, Monday's over and we're already almost halfway through the week. So don't stress too much. We're going to finish this bitch out good. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels uh, so you don't miss when any new videos go up like this one. Or like Glitch Hikers, we're going to be playing that again Friday because I had a bomb playing that. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. So don't forget to uh, stop in, chat, let me know how you're doing. Subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves over the week. Stay happy, stay healthy, eat lots of food, and drink lots of water. Stay safe, and I will see you all on Friday. Bye-bye, everybody.